Hi guys, we're back again with another video, this time just showcasing the prism in the realm here and how it works and how it might be able to help you just in case you find any hackers or anybody generally breaking the rules in your realm. So the way that it works is you throw this item called uh, prism to the, to the player that's actually breaking the rules and they'll get put into this prism right here. As you can see we have a few guards with their bows and arrows, a little guard tower overwatching just in case anybody tries to break out. So open the doors through here and they will be put in the white cell. This is uh, to clear inventory, ban and a few other things. I'll explain that in a sec. Door to open all the cells here, colour coded of course. So if we just come out of the prison, I've been told in fact that one of the players might be up to no good in one of the admin offices so I'll make my way over here. Quickly make my way up the elevator. And I find J-Dog dressed as a robber going through my chest of gold. What's going on here? So if I just uh, give you a little example, throw that at him. You can see he's now disappeared. Pick that back up and in fact you can see that he is in the cell over there. So, just take a little walk over. And... Right, we can see he's now in the cell. And he can't actually get out either. Um, which is the best thing. Uh, they can't break a block, they're set into adventure mode, all of their items have been cleared and in fact even their spawn point has been put here where he keeps walking over. Um, this basically means that they, they can't really leave unless you actually come and let them out yourself. Um, I'll do that now. Once you open the door they can leave, however obviously they have lost all their items for breaking the rules, uh, they're in game mode A, so they couldn't have broken out. And they're feeling a bit bad for themselves, so we'll let him go now. So if I just quickly walk you, through, uh, sorry, walk you through the commands, it's actually only a small series of commands here. Um, where are we? Go around the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the spawn point. We're going to set the spawn point to exactly on top of this orange block here, because that means every time that he respawns, he'll fall onto it, um, and that will activate this whole series. Um, so it's a spawn point at P. The coordinates, impulse, unconditional needs redstone. That then follows with a chain unconditional is active. That means it goes uh, no matter what. Um, with the say command at P, uh, the range of seven alert, you have been placed in prison for breaking the rules. You can, of course, put any message that you want on there. Uh, see, and if we go down one more, we've got clear. Clear at P. I have had to take some of the names out of there because obviously we don't want uh, the admin or myself being cleared accidentally whilst testing at a range of five. That means it won't clear other people that might be in the vicinity accidentally. And finally, we'll switch them to game mode A. Uh, that's at P, the nearest person. Again, a chain unconditional always active command. And that will just ensure they can't actually break out of the cell. They will actually have to ask one of the admin or somebody to let them out, of which we will then realise they've done something wrong and look into it. Um, I do have another very quick one. If you do obviously get a really bad griefer that you really don't want coming on, um, it's a really simple one. So if we just type in kick and then the player's name, for instance, this player, uh, I probably would have blurred it out. However, um, if you set this on... Repeat, always active, um, as soon as I come off of this screen he will just get kicked as soon as he comes in this server repeatedly every time he comes in. Um, obviously take this off and break the block, but that is just a, an easy way if you just need somebody that's been very persistent, um, keeps griefing, or you think they will come back on. So we're just going to go through the command blocks now to make that certain item work when I did drop it at the player then. I'm going to start off with a repeating unconditional always active. And that's going to test for at e, so at entity square bracket type equals item comma name equals uh, quotation mark forward slash prison quotation mark and then an end square bracket. And that's going to be testing for the item that's thrown on the ground. Um, we then go to a comparator, straight to a repeater, which has been set on the slowest tick, and then into an impulse unconditional needs redstone command block. This one's going to be um, 
quite similar. So forward slash execute at e uh, square bracket type equals item comma name equals quote mark uh, forward slash prison quotation mark and then an end square bracket. Uh, then a space, little squiggly, space squiggly, space squiggly, um, and you want them to TP to the prison cell um, exactly on top of where you've put that orange command block there. Um, so that's going to have a pressure plate. As soon as they fall onto it, it will activate it all. One more comparator here, and then finish off with a kill at E, type equals item, name equals uh, prison, and that will just kill the there after you do throw it. I did grab it quite quick so it didn't manage to disappear but it will just disappear on its own. Uh, that's to stop other players picking it up obviously and then using it. Um, and then that's that. That's It's only actually three command blocks so quite simple and you've got yourself a little prison system there. Thank you, hope you give us a like and subscribe.